There were a number of people in the room, among them Samahang Basketball NG Pilipinas President Al Panlilio, his executive director Sonny Barrios, national coach Chot Reyes, NLEX coach Yang Giao, and Rain or Shine coach Caloy Garcia, all joining basketball godfather Manny V. Pangilinan in a meeting, that ended late Thursday night. Hours later, the SBP fired a statement to all media outlets the Philippines won't be sending a team to the basketball competition of the 2018 Asian Games in Indonesia. The midnight announcement caught everyone by surprise, since it came just hours after Pan Lilio and Commissioner Willie Marshall presided over a press conference at the PBA office that confirmed Rain or Shine's participation in the ASEAD with a rejig team to be coached by former Last Upunters coach Gao. So what changed? Sources said the meeting with MVP was called basically to take stock of the ASEAD participation in light of recent events, beginning with the brawl between Heal as Pilipinas and Australia in a FIBA World Cup home qualifier to the subsequent suspensions meted by FIBA on 10 Heal as players and two coaches. As it is, the ASEAD plan had already changed a number of times over the course of several months. After ruling out Hilas from the ASEAD, the SBP hatched a plan to tap the core of the MVP-owned TNT Katropa team with a sprinkling of Hilas cadets. But that plan was likewise ditched, Pan Lilio said, on moral grounds after four TNT players were suspended by FIBA for their roles in the brawl against the Boomers. Next, the SBP and the PBA board reached an agreement that the top team at the end of the Commissioner's Cup eliminations be tapped for the AC admission. Rain or Shine, after several consultations, agreed to take on the responsibility and make the supreme sacrifice. Thursday's board meeting not only confirmed Rain or Shine's participation and Gao's appointment, but on the side, it also determined the scope of the PBA board's support to the endeavor. Gao was aware of the original PBA commitment to the SPP to send only one team to the Asian Games, but was confused on whether it was the Raz team as a whole or only the core of the Elastopunters lineup. If it was the only the core, Giao had hoped the PBA can once again bend backwards and give him a few more reinforcements from other ball clubs. The multi-titled coach listed six players on his wish list June Mar Fajardo, Greg Slaughter, Poy Aram, Jeff Chan, Paul Lieb, and Stanley Pringle, but admitted beforehand that getting Slaughter and Fajardo, and for that matter Chan, was a long shot since San Miguel and Ginebra were playing in the finals. Under AC at eligibility rules, Giao felt Pringle can beef up the team since he is a Phil American and a longtime resident of the country. Looking back on Friday, Giao admitted, I was hoping to get two or three reinforcements. I would take the risk. When Pan Lilio and Marshall presided over Thursday's press conference at the end of the board meeting, there was no mention of Giao's request for reinforcements being turned down, but both confirmed that the PBA stuck to the original agreement to send only one team to the ASEAD. That was the situation in SBP's hands when Pan Lilio and company headed to a late meeting with Pan Jilinen at the PLDT office in Makati, Giao can tap the core of Rain or Shine plus perhaps a few of his own players at NLEX and a sprinkling of heel as cadets for the AC admission, but nothing more. Asked about the team's chances in retrospect, Giao said, Rain or Shine is one of the top teams in the PBA and it has a strong lineup. But remember, Pag Punta NG Rain or Shine Sa Asian Games, Hindi Name and Ga Kapwa Ball Clubs and Kakalaban and Naman, Kundi, Ga National Teams and GI Bang Bonsa. Citing Iran's Haim Hadadi as an example, Giao continued, Kung Maka Kalaban Naman A Me Hadadi Na NBA Veteran at Lampas 7 Feet, Maz Mighty Seguro Kung May Maka Kachulong Kina Raymond Almazan at Bo, Belga.
If we cannot get the reinforcements, we simply can't compete, he added. Still, Giao refused to say that the competitiveness of the team or the lack of it prompted the AC to pull out, saying it was more of the SVP deciding to focus on long term goals than short term results. Are we going to the Asian Games to compete or are we going there only to participate? Giao said. If we're only going there to participate, the SBP felt it was better to focus on the next FIBA World Cup qualifying window and the future. Dot who made the decision to pull the plug on the AC and participation. Dot it was a consensus, Giao said. And I thank them for the three days that I became a national coach again, even if I didn't even get to meet the team, he added with a chuckle.